What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Code Peterson tutorial. We're doing some more GB Studio, making games for the original Nintendo Game Boy. I've had several requests that had kind of a similar theme, and that is how can you have it to where if you're making an adventure game or an RPG game where your NPC says something different depending on where you are with your quest. I thought, let's try to put that together. It's getting awfully close to fall or autumn time here. So I thought, you know what? Let's make kind of a cozy autumn themed, like Halloween style game. So I do have two scenes here with some like corn stalks kind of around the border. That's a solid. And then a little trigger here that takes you over to scene two. A trigger here that takes you back to scene one. And then I have a little witch actor sprite and a little jack lantern actor sprite and then our character is going to be a little ghost this is just a top down uh four direction four way movement uh style of game and i thought it would be kind of an easy way to demonstrate this for you so to begin with let's look here and see how this works so we got our little character here we got our sprites we go over here and then we go back, and this is our game so far. So to begin with, if I select my witch up here, and I have on interact, I will display dialogue. And I'm going to type in here, can you please help me? I lost my pumpkin all right and when it says on interact basically what that means by default i believe it's b on your game boy is that button and on the keyboard when i'm testing it it is letter z so z and x are like your game boy buttons on the keyboard with this so it's saying the same thing no matter what happens when we go in there to pick to uh, talk to that witch. All right, so now what we want to do is we want to have it to where we can actually go get the pumpkin. So I'll select the pumpkin, and I will say it's collision group of one. And on hit with player, I'm going to deactivate the actor, which is going to make the pumpkin disappear. Now, I am going to set a variable to this. So I'm going to go variable if uh, I'm going to go variable set to true. Okay. I'm also going to select a different variable other than local zero. I want it to keep track of this no matter where I'm at. So I'll go over here to global and I'll choose variable zero. I'll click the little pencil and I'll call this one got pumpkin. All right, got pumpkin is set to true. Now, I also want this pumpkin to be gone each time that I go into this scene here. I don't want to leave and then come back in and have the pumpkin respawn every time. So if I select scene two, then I can go on here, add event and compare variable with value. I will select got pumpkin and then I'll click this little number sign and I want to choose Boolean and true. So if got pumpkin is equal to true, then I'm going to deactivate the actor, and that is going to be the pumpkin. All right, let's check to make sure that that works. Go over here, pumpkin's in there, pick it up. We'll leave, go back in here, and now it's gone. Perfect. But if we go up here, the switch still doesn't know that we have the pumpkin. So if we want to change what that which is saying then we can go back here and select this and 
It's just as simple as going to add an event, compare variable with value, and we will say if got pumpkin, choose this and go to Boolean and true. Display dialog. I could type in here, you found my pumpkin. Thank you. All right, so this is what happens if it's true. Now there is an else option here, so I'll expand the else. Don't forget to click that arrow to do that. And then we will click and drag our original text and we'll put it in there. So now if got pumpkin is true, it's gonna say this. And at the beginning of the story, when we talk to the witch before we get the pumpkin, it's gonna say, can you help me? If it's not equal to true up there. All right, so let's go up here and we'll try this again. Correct. Can you please help me? I lost my pumpkin. I lost my pumpkin. Okay, we'll go over to scene two. Pick up the pumpkin. Talk, you found my pumpkin. Thank you. And there it is. That is how you can do that. Now, obviously, this was just a true and a false. But if you wanted to, you know, if we had to pick up a pumpkin and we had to pick up multiple other things, maybe the one thing I would do differently is maybe instead of this being true, like maybe once the first objective is met, and I would call this like quest progress, quest progress would get an increment of one. And then once you met the next goal, quest progress got an increment of two. And then each time you go back and talk to this person, if increment or if progress is equal to one, then this. If it's equal to two, then this. If it's equal to three, then this. And you could put multiple ones in a row and make it as elaborate as you would like. So hopefully that helps answer those questions and um, kind of gives you something to try and play around with. As far as that goes, let me know in the comments if this was helpful or if that didn't answer your question, if you had something else in mind. I would love to hear it. Or if you have a better way to do this, I would love to hear that too. I learn more from you all than I think you learn from me. And I appreciate you all taking the time to watch. Like and subscribe if you like this content. I'll keep putting more out there as often as people keep giving me ideas and requests for more tutorials. So have a great day and we'll hopefully catch you on another tutorial video.